Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, question for you. Yeah. About laundry. Laundry, all right. Laundry. When you do laundry. I do. Do you, I guess it's, I guess, I, I'm trying to think more back when you were married. Yeah. Did you guys do laundry as a family? What do you mean as a family? So like, did you know, all the laundry night? go into one community pile and... So for most of my daughter's early years, she had her own laundry detergent that was meant for like sensitive skin. Um, so uh, her clothes were washed separate but then mine and Crystal's clothes intermingled. Yeah. Did somebody like do them? Did you guys just like do them sporadically? Did you have a laundry basket you threw everything in? Like so, we have multiple laundry baskets. Like there's laundry baskets all over the house, basically. And I still have that going on. I have a laundry basket in the kitchen where like towels and stuff from the kitchen go. Um, there's a laundry basket in my daughter's room. There's another one in her bathroom. There's one in my bathroom and my bedroom. It's a lot of laundry baskets. There are a lot of laundry baskets in my house. Um, so when well, you never throw them on the floor, and you never have to bring the clothes somewhere else. You only do it when it's like laundry time, basically. So now I only do it probably once a week. That's when I do my laundry. So, so there's I, enough. I have always just done. I and I basically a once a weeker as well. Like on the weekend, at some point, I I need to do laundry on Saturday or Sunday. Like I only have enough clothes that basically fit into a. <laughs> a load of like one to two loads of laundry um so i need to clean my work clothes every week because i wear the same like three or four outfits for the entire week it's mix and match you know type of deal um but we still basically even though i'm married now with kids uh i do my laundry separately from my wife's the kids clothes kind of get all mixed up and whatever kids clothes pick them up throw them in my laundry basket they get washed with my stuff uh, because we all use the same laundry detergent at this point but my wife and i don't intermix our why not our laundry i don't well, know you just, know i mean i never mean, have a lot of women's clothes require um to not go in the dryer and stuff and so and, like and i think that's part of the reason i try to make sure i keep it separate is because i don't want to get into that take the stuff out before you throw it in the dryer because all my shit is machine wash like i will yeah. not buy something that's dry clean only or that's got special instructions i just won't do it i will just go right and get normal stuff so because of that i'm i'm also very from living in community living for a long time of my life like the fraternity house the dorms etc I'm right. very conscious of the dryer and, like, use of the dryer. And if I go to put my clothes in the washer and there's clothes in the washer already, I will move them to the dryer. If there's clothes in the dryer when I'm, like, dried clothes in the dryer when I'm putting my clothes, like, moving clothes around... I cannot, in good conscience, just take those clothes out of the dryer... And throw them in a laundry basket and be like, these are your clothes. You deal with them. I, in good conscience, have to fold them because yeah. otherwise they'll get wrinkled. Right. And I would expect somebody else to do the same thing for my clothes, which, of course, doesn't usually fucking happen. It drives me insane. Now, Crystal but, was also bad about that, but she did it to her own clothes, too. She would just throw, like, she would do laundry and she would, like, throughout the day, take the, the clothes out of the dryer and then just, like, throw them on the couch. Until she had like a couch full of clothing, and then she'd like sit down and watch TV and fold them later in the day. But that was after like six fucking loads had gone through, and there's just so this the, mountain of clothes on <laughs> on the couch, and I'm just like, and the cats are laying on it and stuff like that. But I didn't want to argue about it, so I never really said anything. I just like, all right, what, what the fuck, I release. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not one washing it right, so she's doing it, and you know whatever. Um, so I never really complained. But the moment she moved out, I moved my dresser into the laundry room actually. Um. And uh, so, like, whenever I wash my clothes, I fold them immediately and put them directly into the dresser, like, right then. Um, and that's, so, that so was a great change. all your clothes are stored in the laundry room? Technically, yes. Interesting. I don't have a laundry room. Not my daughter's that. clothes, but all my clothes yeah. are. We have, we have a closet that holds the washer and dryer. There's no laundry room to put, like, something like that into at my house. Um, but I... So my wife is also bad to the point where she will leave stuff in the washer, move it to the dryer often, but very often, I'm talking on the regular basis, will not take it out of the dryer ever. 
and I usually am the person who ends up moving it out of the dryer and folding it because of the fact that it's been sitting in the dryer for three or four days. Um, yeah. When I'm going to do my laundry, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's one of those things that it's just she forgets or she just expects. And I will say, I in my fraternity house we have this the rule. If you do laundry, if you pull something out of the washer, you have to put it in the dryer. If it's somebody else's clothes, if you pull something out of a dryer because you need the dryer, you are required to fold it and put it in these bins that were like sitting there. It was like the washing machine rules. The rules make sense in concept. The problem is some people would take advantage of those rules and they just go throw their clothes in the washer and a few days later they would go looking for their folded clothes in the bin. Yeah, expect it, waiting for somebody else to do all the all this shit. That you just right. Want to do. And it's almost like that's what she's doing, but I don't think it is. I think it's just that she like doesn't seem to care. But sometimes she'll pull the clothes out of like she'll get the clothes that she needs out of the dryer. Yeah, oh, leave yeah, everything yeah, else I hate in that there. Too. Like living like, out of the dryer. Yes, yeah, living out of the dryer, which then makes it hard when I'm trying to get into the dryer because there's these clothes that are there that I now have to deal with, and I fucking hate folding clothes. But I do it so often. So <laughs> the other day, I was I, I think I've been falling asleep a lot lately when I'm putting Jack to bed because I lay down next to him. He's been getting harder and harder to put to sleep. I think it has to do with you know the baby and all that stuff. Um, yeah. And I've been falling asleep with him a lot and end up sleeping like that's I, I, I go to sleep with him at 8 30 and i fall asleep and i wake up and it's like 11 30 and i'm like shit get up grab a glass of water and actually go back to bed for the <laughs> night because it's now 11 30 at night all of a sudden um and i had done that with my laundry the other day and i was like oh shit i did i so i and i went back to sleep and i woke up in the morning it was like oh crap like my clothes are still in the laundry like I gotta get my stuff out of here. It's gonna be like all all wrinkled or whatever, and I had to pull some clothes out and like live out of the out of the dryer for like even that day. And I was like, I felt like, oh god, this is terrible. So I got home from work, and I went to like immediately go pull the clothes out so I can fold it and get them out of there. There was a laundry basket was downstairs, and folded clothes are sitting in it. And yeah. I went up and looked in the dryer and it was like, there was like baby clothes and stuff in the dryer. And I was like, oh, and my wife wasn't home at the time. It was my, my, uh, my wife's mom was here cause she's in town this week. And I was like, oh, did somebody, uh, uh fold my laundry? I feel bad cause I left it in there. And she goes, oh yeah, yeah. And you know, Julia folded it like last night or whatever. And I was like, oh, that you great. Like cool. Like I, 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 for once I feel kind of like pampered. Like somebody folded my laundry for me. Type <laughs> of deal. You know, this is great. And that night, the same thing happened to where, like, I put, uh, I was, I think I was laying down with Jack or whatever, and I fell asleep early. For some reason, I went to sleep really early and didn't get a chance to, like, I try to put my clothes, I sometimes live out of the laundry basket, which I don't like to do, but I try to, like, fold the clothes and put them away somewhere. Um, yeah. And I didn't, and I just uh, ended up leaving a laundry basket down actually in the living room. I didn't even take them upstairs because I was so tired. So in the morning, I get up, and I'm like, oh, shit, I need to go downstairs to get the laundry basket. So, you know, of course, there's somebody else in the house, so I'm not running around naked, making sure I'm running around at least with a towel on because, you know, my wife's mom is here as well in case she comes out of the room that she's sleeping in. <laughs> I go downstairs, I get the laundry basket, I come upstairs. I was so fucking livid and i cannot understand this for the life of me i start moving the clothes around to get down to the clothes that i'm gonna need like because there's only like a couple towels and stuff on top so i'm getting looking for like my work pants and my work shirts the fucking basket of unfolded laundry with a handful of folded towels on top <laughs> So I pull out this work shirt and it is just wrinkled to all right. shit, which I, I, I didn't look at it. So I, I just assumed that it was folded, especially after asking, you know, the, you know, her mom, like, oh, somebody folded my laundry. And she's saying, yeah, Julia did it yesterday. And she just pulled everything out of the dryer basically because all she did. I, so I... Was, and so I'm in the room, and granted, she's sitting in there, but I got the, a little light on to the side where I'm getting dressed. So I'm in the room, and I can tell she's – it's early, so I'm going to work. She doesn't wake up when I wake up, but she's awake now because I'm awake but not, you know, fully awake. And I just – I kind of looked at her, and I was like, Julia. And she's like, yeah, and I'm like, I thought you folded this basket of laundry. And she's like, well, I started to. <laughs> I considered it. <laughs> and I said, 
I pulled out my work shirt. And I was like, I cannot wear this to work. Like, this is completely inappropriate that you would put this in the bottom of the basket with folded clothes on top of it to give it the illusion that it was folded. <laughs> right? And she goes, well, I started to, but then I got distracted with something else because, like, the baby started crying. And I said, that doesn't explain to me why are there folded clothes on top of the unfolded clothes. If you started folding the laundry, it would be folded clothes in the bottom because you were folding it and putting it back in the basket to transport it, and you would have put the unfolded clothes back on top of it because you don't fold out of the laundry basket. You dump things out of the laundry basket and you fold it like on the couch. Yeah, that like sense. That's how uh, we do it here, at least. I don't know. I'm sure everybody doesn't do it like that. And she was getting right. so mad at me for getting angry at the fact that, you know, <laughs> she she's I started to do it. I just ran out of time. I couldn't do it. So I had to put everything else back. I'm like, but you didn't put everything else back. I was like, you put folded clothes on top of the unfolded stuff because it gave the basket the, <laughs> and in my, in my opinion, and I don't know if I'm an asshole here. I think she put the things on top of it to make it look like the basket of clothes is folded. <laughs> you think she was purposely being deceptive? Uh, which, which doesn't make any sense because clearly I'm going to find out at some point that that's like that. <laughs> I also don't think she realized that it's such a problem. For men's like work shirts, it is a right. huge issue. You can't do that. I mean, what did you do? Did you uh, iron it then? I know. I had to go. I found another shirt that was still, luckily, I had one more shirt that I hadn't worn. And uh, I, I had to put it on. And I had to, when I came home from work, I threw all of the clothes back into the laundry. Because I don't right. iron. I don't iron shit. I, I don't so my lawn, my lawn, my um, my dryer has this thing called Wrinkle Protect. Does yours do that? It does. It gets really and, freaking and annoying, it. though. Yeah. It, yeah. It, I, I, I want nothing to do with it because it basically just fucking reruns the – just constantly cycles your clothes. It's yeah. like, oh, they're done drying and, now, and then and, you start 10 minutes later, it dries them again. And it not only recycles it every 10 minutes, but it – recycles it like three times like every five minutes or whatever it turns on and spins a couple times and then every like 15 minutes it goes beep beep beep, beep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. so no yep. we yep. have uh, we fucking hate it we try to turn it off because it's right outside the kids room and you know we'll accidentally so like mine on and... you can turn it off but then with the power flickers it fucking resets it's it's like uh, it's identity and so it's, it's back it's on identity. again it's identity yeah <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's identity a new crisis. man um, and I and I hate that because like yeah like the power will flicker or whatever and then I'll be doing laundry and then suddenly I'm fucking wrinkle protected again and I was like ah oh, god just please remember I don't ever want you on. Uh, two of the things that I absolutely hate doing and I know they have to get done: folding laundry and emptying the dishwasher. And I see I don't own a dishwasher. Uh, so oh my god, I feel that those two things. That I think my wife also secretly hates them, but pretends not to secretly hate them. She just never fucking does them, so I always have to do it. And <laughs> it, it's so funny whenever we get into, into arguments, like it actually ends up coming up because I get really frustrated and I bring it up because I can be, you know, <laughs> an asshole and you can bring up all the things that, you know, you, that it really frustrate you. And she constantly claims to me how often she she empties the dishwasher. And I have been able to point out to her so many times, like, you claim you emptied it yesterday, and I will actually, like, open up the dishwasher, and I'll be like, tell me, or before I open it up, and I'll be like, tell me, why, like, uh, when was the last time we used blah, blah, blah utensil? And she won't be able to tell me, and I'll open up the dishwasher, and I'll be like, because I put it in here three fucking days ago myself when I loaded the dishwasher, and I'm the only one who's used this thing. And it's like, clearly you didn't empty it yesterday, because it's still in there, and I put it in here three days ago. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like whenever, uh, whenever me and Chris were divorced, like that was one of the things that we always used to argue about. You know, and it wasn't even like heated arguments. It was just like, you know, why? Like, why haven't you watched this? Why haven't you watched? Why what clothes or whatever? Um, and I don't know. I always, I was always of the opinion, like, I mean, I'm the one working all these hours or whatever, and you're not working, so like, you you should be able to find more time to wash the dishes than I do. Um, in in my mind, um, but maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Either way, once she moved out, 
they ain't a day. And I don't have a dirty dish that lasts more than a day. <laughs> and whenever I visit her apartment, she didn't have a dirty dish that lasts more than a day. So it's like, how the fuck could we both <laughs> easily so, do this so, shit on our yeah, own? So but neither one of us could manage to do that shit when we were together. <laughs> that's kind of, that's really funny, actually. The fact that both of you guys don't have any dirty dishes, but when you were together, it was mass amounts of them i can almost yeah. guarantee to you if uh if my wife and i uh, divorced that she would have a pile full of fucking dishes all the time because i would i do the dishes so much i'll get home from work and uh you know she works at, she works from home so she's here during the day and um um, if she's watching, like, before, like, when she wasn't working, when she had the baby, like, she just started back to work again relatively recently, but, you know, she'd be here all day with the baby, um, so there would be, you know, dishes used because, you know, she's here, and, right, right. but I swear to God, like, a ridiculous amount of dishes would get used, and every day I would come home from work, and there would just be this pile, ridiculous pile of dishes in the dishwasher or in the uh, sink and i would put them every day i'd get home from work and at some point while i'm making dinner i would wash all these dishes and put them wash quote unquote wash put them in the dishwasher i'm a firm believer in still washing the dishes before they go in the dishwasher because i don't our dishwasher is <laughs> not good enough to like get off like well that's why i've never shit. actually got a dishwasher because whenever i was younger and we had dishwashers like though granted they weren't great like i remember the i thought i think the only dishwasher we ever had was one that you like it rolled around the fucking kitchen and you like screwed it into your sink you know what i'm talking about uh yeah i do but they they those are almost non-existent anymore <laughs> right yeah 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 but like and it was awful like you really did have to wash the dishes first so like i don't know there wasn't there's never a dishwasher here so i just never even went we're worried about it basically it's like well i can wash dishes but we didn't <laughs> yeah we, uh, we almost might as well not have one because ours is that bad but right, I mean, just washing the dishes anyways but, but we do but yeah it's definitely one of the things that she avoids like the plague and tries to make it act as if she doesn't avoid it like the plague because i just will constantly do it i don't actually have any problem I don't have a problem loading the dishwasher. I honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. You can full sink of dishes loading the dishwasher. I'm okay with. It's unloading the dishwasher that I absolutely hate doing. That's weird. That's I would weird. feel like that's like well, no big deal. No, because that's the you can't find places for everything all the time. And she, oh really? god, she, well. I am. My kitchen is very anally organized. So, um, well, like uh, everything has every bowl uh, has its place and it goes yeah, there. Every we, tiny little dish, everything has. Yeah, its place. we don't have that. And my wife got on this kick of, um, you know, of course, when we had the kids, it was everything has to be like the BPA free, um, this, that, the other, which doesn't sound like it's a bad thing. But what it did was it changed fundamentally like we'd have these the standard old Ziploc brand storage containers you know i don't know if you know what i'm talking yeah. about like, yeah, tup yeah, like yeah, yeah, tupperware but like cheaper tupperware yeah, type yeah. of deal right, right and all of a yeah. sudden she went on this kick where everything has to be these fancy glass containers with these special lids because it's better for Jesus. the environment but none of it stacks together so yeah, it like doesn't fit together anywhere so i always end up having to find ridiculous places for most of this shit and I, it drives me insane. So I hate emptying the dishwasher because there's always something I can't find a place for. And I just end up leaving it on the counter because I'm just like, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> but you also uh, yeah, have seen like our house. Our like house is get small. rid of some dishes or some shit. Like you, you do have a small house. That is true. Um, but I don't know, man. I feel like you got to like get rid of some of the dishes if they don't have a, a home. I mean, but that's just me. it's, we probably should, <laughs> but we don't. <laughs> But yeah, it's funny. I don't know. I think it's my time working at McDonald's that actually make it so I don't mind doing the dishes because I used to actually like doing the dishes as a closure there all the time. So actually cleaning the dishes or loading the dishwasher was never anything that bothered me. It's the emptying of the dishwasher. God, Just like I, see, doing that, that laundry that doesn't bother me. me. It's the folding of the laundry that bothers me. Like for years, I hated doing dishes because I did dishes so much as a job. Like I was a dishwasher uh, um, when I worked at the bar um, before I became a barback, and like just that's so many hours of just doing dishes. And like then I worked at Shoney's doing the salad bar. Like it was just dishes all the damn time. Um, so like it made me hate washing dishes. But um, you like now cooking. I don't mind it so much. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Cooking's great, but the dishes suck part does suck still. Did you were you ever a cook at these restaurants, or were you always? You know what? At Shoney's, they tried to get me to do the cook, and it was so stressful <laughs> like, for me. Dude, I could not. 
but I couldn't I couldn't deal with thirty items on the the griddle or whatever it's called, like and the the process of um I feel like I could I could I mean like I did some of the line cooking where it's like dropping shit in fryers and you know just knowing based on that like all right this this is done because the timer's going off whenever it came to the uh, like all right we need uh, six burgers and fucking two uh you know beef liver or whatever and like all these things the, need to be flipped the, at different whoa, times was beef liver like a big thing at Shoney's? yeah really Fuck yeah dude people love beef liver yeah yeah, that's literally the first thing that came to my mind when I see about the things that will get called out in order. And yeah, beef hey, all these things liver? Yeah. I, I, I mean, okay. I have more power to people who want to order beef liver. I, I, I have tasted it. It's awful. Um, but yeah, liver and onions. Um, I didn't totally. know it was a big thing at Shoney's. Like, liver and onions is always one of those things that you sometimes see on menus. I didn't think people ever actually ordered it because it tastes so shitty. Um, that's how I feel about beets. I'm not, I'm oh my god, I am so with you. I hate, hate, hate beefs. My wife loves them. My kids love them. I think they're really so good. like we're talking pickled beets, right? Uh, or like not not even necessarily pickled beets. I don't think. So but. some I've had like some roasted beets that were okay, but like everyone I know growing I'm up, talking, beets always from a jar. Yes, I am beets. talking yep. about yeah, beets yeah, from yeah. a jar. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that they were yeah. actually like pickled or not. I don't know if it's yeah. just pickled or. They're, they're typically pickled. Oh, they're the, coming from a jar. The yeah, team yeah. I wanted to win just won this game. Yeah, I'm very, very anti beets. Yeah. I am also anti beet just because I don't, I don't like them. They taste disgusting, just like olives. I like olives on martini, but only the green ones. Not I'm anti black. I don't olives. like any olives. I'm an olive racist. Olives taste disgusting, no matter what color they are. So I'm <laughs> a, a all discriminating olive hater um and coconut is terrible though i question oh, if coconut so. is actually terrible because i'm saying that from the coconut that i have had in my life which has never been like you know survivor coconut i want to know if i go on survivor and i'm on one of those islands that has coconut am i gonna hate coconut or is it fucking delicious when it's like fresh from the tree so i remember when i was a kid i think it was from watching gilligan's island i was all into like what the fuck does coconut taste like and i remember being at a grocery store and seeing like fresh coconut and i was like all right dad we have to buy this and like i want to milk it and like do all this shit like <laughs> i want to so milk it <laughs> So I bought this coconut and like come home and he pokes the holes in it and drink the milk and I'm like, okay, this isn't great. Um, <laughs> the milk really wasn't great. But the fresh coconut was actually pretty good. And seeing how survivors cook it and make this popcorn or whatever they call it, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Um, I wish I had known about that back then, but I was just a, a child and survivor didn't exist. Um, so, but yeah, I also hate like the, the shredded coconut, that shitty texture that you use it in like cakes and stuff. Even the like, smell I, I, of it makes me like... Like, uh, I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's the texture, the taste, the smell, all of it, I think is just bad. Yeah. I'm not a coconut fan. I don't even like, you know, yeah, coconut shampoo because that smell just reminds me of like, <laughs> like, uh, like uh, the shittiness that coconut actually is. Yeah. I can agree with all this. But yeah. God damn it. I don't know how we got on this conversation. <laughs> I also, I also don't. But I, I'm pretty sure that's like the epitome of this series, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. How have we had 240 whatever episodes of of discussion? Oh, I, I, I didn't even think about it. Like we didn't even uh, do anything special um, for for April Fools. Oh, we do. We have an shit. episode going on on April Fool's Day. I mean, maybe we can. Wow. We maybe we can plan it uh, beforehand. We we and should then, uh, record like a separate episode, or either record a separate episode, or should we uh, just put out something that you know says like we're you know we the, ser the servers farm. the servers broken <laughs> and like we're we're finished with the series or something like we that. are live right now, so huh. you know. I mean, keep, true, keep, keep but... your thoughts to yourself <laughs> to some degree here. <laughs> but, but yeah, when we were recording um, the other day, I think that was going to be one of the ones that hits as the April one episode. And I was like, I didn't even think about it until today. Now that, that April fools is even coming down the pipeline. Yeah. I I've been about it. thinking about what, what to do. 
every year it seems less and less important to do something. That used to be a thing that was really important to me to have some kind of April Fool's YouTube video. But it also feels like every year they can't fall for it again, can they? And then every year you do something like, I'm quitting YouTube. And people are like, no! It's like, God damn it, you fell for it again. Really? Um, You'd even say, so it's like, April yeah. Fool's Day, guys. I'm quitting YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I was, I was sure the UHC last year would uh no one would believe it i've thought about re-uploading it just the, the same, same with the today. same yeah. thing yeah same really, exact thing to see really just funny. see how how that goes across i'm just gonna re-upload the uhc we played like we just played like a legit <laughs> uhc just re-upload it without any context and just start releasing it <laughs> be like ah yeah there you go oh, if somebody asks i'm just funny. gonna be like april fools keep watching it I'm making money every time you watch oh. it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not much, you mind you. Upload, you'd some. have to like re-render it to give it a new hash or whatever, because YouTube wouldn't let you just upload it. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. You would have to. You would have to do something. Um, I mean, I almost uh, I want to take my my like the very first time. I might I might do that just for fun. Just literally go to one of the YouTube downloading links, download the very first episode of Minecraft I ever did, and just <laughs> just upload, upload it. it again. And no context, nothing. Just upload it again. I'm curious. <laughs> will it, for one, will it get views? Will people get it at all? Even hearing it live on your channel and just like yeah. that's it. Just just that. Never talk about it again after that. <laughs> feel like it's there. Never. Don't even take it down. It's just gonna stay there forever. Right. People are gonna be like, "What the fuck is this all about?" I think it was day nine. Um, he they put up an episode of a, an old series I watched uh, of his, and it was randomly a series I watched a couple of years ago, and it was like episode fifteen of the series and i was so confused at why i saw this in my like my feed years later when i thought i had watched the whole series and you could you looked in the the comments or not the comments the um the description and it was like edit on and he put it whatever date he edited it, it on and he was like there's a lot of confusion as to why this episode is out here right now Found this in the archives, realized the one that we posted had some glitch in it, so just uploading the better version of this series. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't wow. even know what it was, but it was some random, like, audio glitch that happened that made some of the audio, like, unhear, like, like, un... Uh, watchable or un inaudible and he found the original clip years later and decided to upload it in case somebody wanted to like complete the full series in the in the watch <laughs> list but it was so confusing in the way that it came out yeah so i've always wanted to upload a youtube video that's just like your channel trailer but it seems so confusing to people that just see it like on their sub feed like Welcome to my channel. Oh, I will. Like, you know? I will tell you. I th I have a you. I have a trailer. I think I have it unlisted because I was so worried about confusing people. Really? I think and I put that, it up and, unlisted. But you can still set it as the trailer as unlisted. I, so yes. Now you're making me wonder if I was actually able to do that or if I had to list it. Now I don't remember. Huh. But I remember being like, "This is gonna be weird. I have to upload this video. That's gonna hit my subscription feed as a trailer." For all my subscribers to now see my trailer randomly in the middle of their subscription feed. Right. Yeah, that's why I've never done it. Because it seems so out of place for subscribers. Yeah, no, I agree with you. It's very out of place. Well, I guess we should stop here forever. <laughs> oh, forever. April yep. Fool's, guys. I mean, not April, April Fool's. Fools. Like, this is real. Like, stopping forever. YouTube. I quit. <laughs> Quitting YouTube. <laughs> Uh, well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll All right, guys. We'll, we'll never see you again. I was going to say we'd see you next time. Never see you again. I mean, we, we want you to unsubscribe, remember? We try to force <laughs> you to unsubscribe. <laughs> we'll keep making videos until every single one of you unsubscribes. Yep. We're getting bastards. rid of y'all eventually. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. All right. See ya.